Hi, George here. I'll be showing you how to add images to layers in Photoshop Elements. Now I have four pictures here of dogs, as you can see, and I want to put these all onto a square picture, which is right here. Let me just bring this one up. There we go. And I want to have one dog per corner on this. Before we do this, make sure you take a look at my new training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, what we need to do here is to first put in some guidelines to mark our position. Make sure you have rulers shown. Go up to view and your rulers are right here. Also make sure the guides are shown. So those are both checked, that's fine. And then simply grab a ruler and drag in a guideline. And if you go to the center point, it's going to snap right to that center point. There we go. I'll pull this one straight down. We'll snap to that center point again. There it is. So we now have those four positions. I want one dog per position in here. And the way you do that is to take one of your images here. And if you don't have floating windows, go up to edit. Come down to Preferences and General right there and put a check mark right here where it says Allow Floating Documents in Expert Mode. And you're good. Then if you have these up on tabs like that, just grab the tab, pull it down. You can then float your window. This makes it real easy for this. Just take your image, kind of put it out of the way like that. Get the background layer and drag it onto your new image there. Okay, that's in place. And normally I'll bring in all of my images at one time. But I'll show you the process here on just this one first. Now, I'll put this one up here, upper left-hand corner. And I want to get it positioned where I want it, like that. I'll come out here, grab a control handle, bottom corner. I'll resize them a little bit until I get a nice position. I think that's pretty good right about here. So that's where I want them, but I have all this excess stuff outside. We can hide this with a layer mask. Go up to the rectangular marquee tool. Come down to the options down below here and make sure that feathering is set to zero. You see that right here, and aspect is normal. And you come just outside, click and drag, and this should snap right to those guidelines. There we go. And then go up here to your layers panel, click on this button. This is your add layer mask button. Puts a layer mask on there, which then hides everything else. And there we go, there's one dog inside. And if it doesn't snap right to the guidelines, go up here to view, come down to snap to, and make sure that snap to guides is checked right there. Okay, let's do this for the rest of the images. We'll grab this one first again, float it out here, drag it in. I'll do all three at once. This again is how I normally would do this. Come down here and just drag him in. There we go. And back to our photo bin. And we have that one right here. Same thing. Just drag that in and close that down. Not going to bother saving that. Now we'll now just work through and do each one at a time. And resize and get my position where I want it. I have to go bigger on this one because it needs to fit that area. Right there looks good. Back to the rectangular marquee tool. Down below the bottom right hand corner, if you come just outside, you can do this. If you go too far, it's going to change into a pointer like that. So make sure you're just a little ways out. And then drag like that up again to those guidelines. Hit that add mask layer button and you're good. So now come down to this layer right here. That's this guy. Let's put him upper right hand corner. I'm a bit smaller than that. Bring him down and I think right about there looks nice. The green check mark to position him. Grab that rectangular marquee again. Same thing. Pull this down to those guidelines. Hit that layer mask button. There we go. And then our final layer right here. I think I'm going to flip this image. I want him looking the other direction. Go up to image. Rotate, and then I want to flip layer horizontal. There we go, I like that better. Same thing, there's the control handle kind of hiding out here. If the other images are in your way, simply hide those layers like that. And let's pull this in and get them positioned right. Make sure we're big enough. And right there, back again to the rectangular marquee tool just outside and then pull those up to those guidelines. It'll snap into position. Hit that layer mask button. There we go. Let's show these layers. You can then hide those guidelines. View, uncheck guides. And so we can maximize this as much as possible. And I'll back out just a touch on that so it fits properly. So zoom control. And right there, there we go. So there we go. That's how you can add images into new layers here in Photoshop. And also how you can line those up so they're all sized exactly the same. 
And if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. Make sure you check out my training. There's a link for that right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.